Hi, y'all. I spent nearly three decades living in the South, and the recipe that I have for you next is something that is a staple. It's Southern pimento cheese, and it is so easy, but just as delicious. Let me share with you how we're going to be putting this all together. First of all, we're going to put two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I already have one cup in my bowl. We're going to add the second cup. My cheese is already shredded. I use our master system and I keep it in my refrigerator for casseroles, dips, or anything when I just need a little bit of cheese. It's already grated. It saves a ton of money when you grate your own cheese as well. Next up, we're going to put in a package of softened cream cheese. So let this sit out on the counter just a little while so that it's soft enough because you're going to want to mix it all together. Um, so it's going to go into the container. This is our medium that's a We're just going to put that in with our silicone spatula. Yummy, yummy, yum. And then we're going to add, are you ready for this? A half a cup of mayonnaise. Not any mayonnaise. Okay, don't use Miracle Whip, okay? You'll get in real trouble in the South if you even think about using Miracle Whip. All right, so now we've got our mayonnaise added to this. And you're going to mix this together until it's pretty thoroughly combined. So I'll take a break and I'll come back. All right, I'm back. Look at that. It's all mixed together. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to chop up a couple of ingredients. So we're going to use one jalapeno. So I didn't have a whole jalapeno. So I just took what I thought was probably a jalapeno and I am uh, had it already sliced, so it's just jarred. So I put that right inside and it's uh, drained. So I kind of squeezed as much liquid up as I could off of it. And then I have a jar of diced pimentos. This is the four ounce size. And again, the same thing. You want to get as much of the liquid off as you possibly can. I already drained it, but it's been sitting here for a few minutes. So I'm going to kind of squish it with my fork and make sure I get every little bit off of there because I don't want to make my dip runny. And it's already pretty diced. You can buy them whole, but just kind of running that through real quick. And this is um, our little super sweet chunk. Love, love, love this. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to give it just a couple of pulls. So it's got a little rubber gasket on the bottom so it doesn't bounce all over your countertop. It's a couple of pulls. Boom. That perfect. And take out the blade. Scoop all this yumminess right into it. And then we're going to add a little seasoning. So our next ingredient is a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder. So just a sprinkle of that. A fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Not salt, it's powder. And then you want just a little pinch of pepper and a little pinch of salt. There's where your salt comes in. And we're just going to take and mix that all up. And guess what? It's ready. You just serve it on crackers and you're ready to go. Okay, we're all done. I actually made two separate containers. One for now, one for later. So now all that's left to do is to taste it. All you need is a cracker and you are ready to go. Mm.